Hello Eurovision fans, thank you so much for coming to my channel Eurovision Histories. I just started a new series called Pro and Contra, where I try to play devil's advocate and try to find all the arguments for and against a country winning Eurovision. Yesterday I published all the reasons why Lorene will not win Eurovision and today I'm doing the pro video, so just the opposite, listing all the arguments I could think of why Lorene will win Eurovision. Thank you so much for your input in the community tab of my channel. Um, I'm already asking about Kerrie because that's my next idea for pro and contra, so check it out and give me some Input. Let's get to the first argument, which is quite obvious, I think, why Lorene will win Eurovision. Tattoo is just a really good song. It's incredibly catchy. It's well produced. Um, it's incredibly professional and slick. You just notice that it's a Swedish pop song. Just lots of professional people involved in creating this piece of art. And it also has hit potential. It's already charting in many, many countries around Europe, even weeks before Eurovision. And it just sounds like the kind of song that could be a chart hit. And the fact that it is already on the charts and on the radio in several countries will help it a lot as well, because people will be familiar with the song. And on Eurovision night, they will hear lots of the songs for the first time. But with Tattoo, they will already be familiar, which will be quite helpful, I think. Another argument, it's Loreen. Lots of people use this in a negative way, saying that she is just a favorite because she is a former winner. Here I'm going to use it as a positive argument. It's Loreen. She knows how to perform. She knows how to sing and dance. She knows how to win Eurovision. She has proven that she can win Eurovision. So why shouldn't she be able to do it again? It's Loreen after all. And she is an icon with lots of Eurovision fans and I think that will help her as well. Lots of fans will vote for her because she is Lorene, but lots of other people will vote for her because she's just a professional and experienced singer that she is. Next up, the song is jury bait, but also enough to get a good televote, I think. Jury bait, it's a Swedish pop song, very slick composition, performance, everything works together. And if you look at the last couple of years, I did that in my jury prediction video. Check that out if you haven't seen it. The kinds of songs that juries go for are a great vocal performance, a mainstream, slick, well-produced pop song. And Tattoo is all of that. So it will, I think, win the jury vote with quite a margin. And then it has also enough televote appeal with this amazing performance, with her being the great singer and performer that she is, to make it and to win, even if Finland or Norway or some other country wins the televote by a good margin, I do think that Tattoo will be the winner in the end. Then there will be a lot of attention on the favorite. That is always happening. Media reports before the final will mention her as the, one of the main contenders. People will listen to the song maybe before. They will also pay more attention to that performance. The commentators may mention that this is one of the favorites and that always helps to get more attention from televoters especially. But also, do you want to be a jury member who votes against the song that then wins by an incredible margin and you're the idiot that didn't give it any votes? I do think that also works with the juries as well. Then the favorite gets a better running order position. That is not what the producers are thinking about. They want to have a good show and to keep viewers interested. And if you put the favorite in the first slot, they might lose interest after that performance. So they always put the favorites in the later running order slots in the first half and also in the second half. And Lorene and Tattoo will definitely profit from that because she will be the favorite even in Eurovision week, I'm quite sure, actually. Then Tattoo is mainstream and is not edgy at all, I think we can say. And in the field we have this year with Austria, with Croatia, with Finland, with all of these crazy over the top great entries. I love them, but I think for many people Tattoo might be like a safe harbor. When I play the songs to non-fans, they always say, oh, this is a good song, this should win. And when they hear Cha 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 or Edgar Allan Poe, they look at me like, what's wrong with you? You actually like this? So I do think that that could happen with the general audience, not Eurovision fans, but the general audience might see Tattoo as 
the safe choice and the safe harbor to go to on the night. Now, the next argument is that people want to support a winner. Um, this is not true in sports so much, but in elections, for example, if a party is ahead by 2%, they usually get a few more percentage points during election day because people just throw their support behind the winner because they want to be with the winning team in the end. And this might also happen in Eurovision. If Lorene has a 40% winning chance before the final, people will maybe even subconsciously vote for her to then be able to say, I voted for the winner. I know what good music is, basically. And she could very well profit from this psychological effect. Then the contenders she has are either very jury friendly or very televote friendly, but not really both. Finland, I think, is extremely televote friendly, but not jury friendly. Same for Norway. And then other contenders like Spain, Italy, are, or France are way more jury friendly and not as televote friendly in the end, I think. And Tattoo just has support from both, and I think it will be enough to be the winner. Last but not least, Lorene has lots of experience, so she won't um, slip up on the night, make some rookie mistake. She just knows what she is doing. And compared to Euphoria, I also think that Tattoo. In Tattoo, she shows a lot more emotion, and that makes the performance more impactful to me, even though, and I said that in the Contra video yesterday, um, the direct comparison with Euphoria is not very helpful for her, I think. But when you look at the emotional side, Tattoo is a better performance, I think. So these are all the arguments I could think of why Lorene will be the winner of Eurovision 2023. Let me know in the comments if there are any arguments I missed and let me know as well whether you think Lorene will actually win or not. As I said, please subscribe to this channel if you want to see the Kerdier Pro and Contra video. I'm also thinking about doing Austria, Ukraine. Let me know in the comments what kind of video and entry you would be interested in. And then I will see you for my next video. See you and bye-bye.